Hello, hello, hello. That sound of sizzling means that it's time for another WordPress nugget where we introduce a single topic in WordPress in 15 minutes or less. Today's topic, how to create a custom header. Let's go ahead and get started right away. As with every lesson we start, we always jump right into the, um, into the dashboard. So in the dashboard, if we're going to make a header, well, you know what? Let's take a peek at the header we're going to make. How about that? We're going to basically copy this header. It's based, it's comprised of two components. Yes, you're seeing one header and it, it will be one header when it's done, but I'm going to call this a main header that might be used on multiple websites, uh, multiple web pages. So we can incorporate that one piece that will be used again and again and again on all our pages. And then depending on what we're offering, what page it is, what we want to say on that specific page, we can personalize the cover so that it is um, specific to that page. So now let's go ahead and let's get started. We're in our dashboard. Templates and template parts are in the appearance tab and inside of the editor. Now here you come to your site editor. If we click again, we go to template parts. Now you'll notice that I already have, that's what you're seeing right over here. So we're gonna create a new one and replace it. And you'll see how that process goes. It's pretty straightforward. So the process is simple. We're gonna create a main piece first that will incorporate in our homepage header, which will, which then could be used on a homepage. And then if we do an about page header or a contact us header or a shop header, whatever, we can incorporate the main and then do a custom header for that for that item. So let's begin by adding a new part. And then again, I'm going to follow the same process. I'm going to go ahead and call it WordPress WPN for WordPress nuggets. And we're going to call it header main demo because it's the main piece of the main element and it's a demo. So I can go ahead and delete it later. Again, be absolutely sure that you select the header option here because if not, it could become, become a part for your main site and we don't want to do that header create so what we have to look at is what are we seeing here well this whole thing here is it looks like a row but it actually lives in a group it's a container block that holds things and in this case we're going to go ahead and we're going to start off with a with a group now inside of that group we're going to go ahead and place a row that's the whole entire row here and then inside of that row, yet we're going to place two more rows because this all lives inside of a row and this lives inside of a row. And you'll see that shortly as we build this main part of the header. So now we're going to come over here and again, we're going to go slash group. We'll add a group in there. And again, always work in list view. I love working in list view. I can't live without that. We're going to go ahead and add now a row and in this row we're going to add another row now the two things we're adding in that row are my site logo and some navigation let's go ahead and add those so come in here and we'll type out site logo and we'll add the site logo and because it was the last thing i added wordpress has a great memory and it adds it in there so i think i made it a little bit larger last time and we can adjust that later. Now, not to be confused because this can get confusing when you're adding a lot of elements. I like to come to the three dots, insert after, and then go ahead and assure that I'm putting it after the block that I want to go after. So here I want to put some navigation. So I'm going to put slash nav to get the navigation up. And again, it comes up with the very, very last navigation that I added. Um, we'll go deeper into navigation on another WordPress nugget, but for right now, we're just going to insert what's already there. Um, the good thing is, let's say if you select contact us and you don't want that there, you, you can want to move that to the left. You want to take the post and you want to put the post all the way over here to the left, but you know, you have that option to move those things around as you see fit. Very, very flexible. So that's it for that piece. The next thing I want to do is I want to make sure I'm going to close my navigation up just so I get a little bit organized. I'm going to close that row up, which holds all of this. 
And I want to make sure that I put in my second row after that first initial row. Insert after, and I'm adding a row. And you'll see why I'm adding that row in a few moments. So now if you look back over here, even though I've got a huge gap here, and that's the key reason why I'm putting into rows inside a row, I have a search and I have a button. Let's go ahead and add those. So now I'm going to come over here, and inside of this row, right there, I'm going to type in search as my search feature. And after my search feature, insert after, I'm going to put a button. So make sure my cursor is here. I put slash button. Excellent. Now notice that my site is all out of whack. That's perfectly normal. Don't panic. You're going to be able to fix this in no time. So let's, everything we need is there. So let's go ahead and start fixing this. Um, let's start off with the width. I think the problem here is the width. So let's go to our group. And the way I learned to fix this in 6.1 with this new theme, and that's the 2023, the 2023 theme that came out a few days ago. That's a tongue twister for me. 2023, there we go, is I made the content and then I chose the content option. I took pixels off. I made a percent because no matter what, whether I'm phone or whatever, I wanted to go ahead and it will stack otherwise. So I'm going to go ahead and put 100 because I want to go 100%. And now it's starting to look a little bit better. So now I work down this row and I, if I pick my search option, there's this highlighted button that toggles a search label. If I click that, it, rises, it raises up a little bit so it lines a little, little bit neater. There's this button over here that says use button with icon. Personally, I prefer the icon, so I'm going to click on that. Um, now, if I come to the settings for that block, which is what's happening here on the right-hand side, there's some options. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change the background color. Now, this is where you need a little bit of information before. I know for a fact that this background color, in fact, let's do that first if you don't mind. Let's make the, the background color for the group I'm going to use. So if I want to background or provide or apply a background color to the whole entire main header portion, I need to come to the group. When I come to the group, I have some color options. So let's knock those out right now. First of all, let's select the background. Because of the image I'm going to use in my home page, I selected this color here. So that's the color I'm going to use as the background for my main part of the header. Now, with that, I'm going to select my text color, and I like white for that. That works for me. Um, that being the case, I believe, just so that you know, because I don't want to hold back anything, I selected, when I selected the text, I made all the text bold, so it popped out a little bit more. So keep that in mind. All that text is in bold. Um, now I come over here, and when I select this button, search, and the that button and it has a background color. I'm going to go ahead and select the same blue that I just selected so that it appears invisible. The text or the color of that magnifying glass, we're going to make that white. And then finally, we're going to come to this button. And the button has a few features. Number one, we want to go ahead and make the background of that button we want it to pop. We don't want it to just blend in invisible. So again, you gotta be very, very careful. I don't I don't like using a lot of colors because it gets too rainbowy and too crazy and stuff. And I personally don't like that. Um, I think you should have no more than a couple of colors, three colors max. Honestly, on this header, I'm pushing the number of colors that I want. So to control those colors, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pick a color that I've used in my logo. I could have gone with the red. I, I, could, have got, I could go with that orange. I'm going to go with that orange color. Um, I've already used my color picker tool. It's just an extension that I have in Chrome. And I picked out what that color was, and I added it to my background colors, and it's right there. So now that button is the color of my nuggets, and I have some cohesiveness on my website. Coming back to that, I'm going to 
make sure my text is white. I'm going to come here on my text, make it bold, and I'm just going to put click here for now. You would put whatever your offer is, free cheat sheet, free map, free booklet, free ebook, whatever it is you're offering as your call to action. Now, one of the final things we have to do here is with that button, it has to go somewhere. A button just for the sake of having a button is really worthless. So we're going to link that button. And for this example, I've got some dummy pages. I'm just going to pick a dummy page or a dummy post. So I'm going to go to that dummy post. So it's just going to go to that post. And I want it to open in a new tab because I always want things open in new tabs. Finally, let's fix that lineup. That lineup is real simple. Everything is thrown here to the left. So to fix that, we're going to go ahead and go to this row, the row that is holding everything inside of it, the other two rows. That row sees that row and that row. It doesn't see the contents inside of it. So if we justify it or we add space to that, and there's a button here saying space between items, the only items that this top row sees are the two rows that are inside of it. So let's click that button and you'll see that we'll get the spread that we're looking for. The last thing I'm looking at as I go over this piece is I don't like square corners on things. So I'm going to click this. I'm going to go to my um, radius and I'm going to add a radius. Let's try 15 pixels. And 15 pixels is probably too much. Let's go 10. And no, uh, let's go 15. 15 is fine. And now we have 15 pixels. Now I'm pretty satisfied with that. I'm good with that. That works. I'm going to save this. Save that again. And then now we're going to go ahead and go back to our template parts. And we're going to add the other part, which is the main homepage part. So we're going to add new. And we're going to add um, WordPress nuggets, homepage, header, demo. Make sure we select header, create it. And now we have a blank canvas to create a header with. So pretty cool. What we do now is we add a header. We, we're creating a header, but we're going to add a header. So it goes slash header. We're going to choose a header. And you see, this is the header I created in the past. And this is another header I created for a past lesson. But the one I want is my demo. This is one I just created with you short a little while ago, a few minutes ago. So we're going to click on that. And that's now added in there. Next, I'm going to come in here. And I'm going to insert after. And I'm going to add a cover slash cover. I'm going to take my cover from the media library. And the cover that I'm using is this image right here. Now you'll see why. Now, this is a pretty neat little feature. Um, I didn't, I haven't noticed this before in any of the WordPresses, but 6.1 just that came out uh, when you're watching this video, this is November 3rd, it came out on Tuesday the 1st has a scroll bar in here, which is really, really neat. The other thing you got to worry about is this space here. That space is there. So in case you want, you want to add something, that space will not come out when you go ahead and you show the video. I'll show the video. I'm sorry. When you go ahead and display the, uh, the header. So let's go ahead and for the sake of speed, let's scroll down here and let's add the text that I have. So I'm going to go ahead, learn WordPress in small bite sized lessons. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to paste that in there. I'm going to come back over here. I'm going to copy this. Come back to my editor. After this block, I'm going to insert another paragraph. Paste that in there. I'm going to make it bold. I'm going to make it large using the sizes here. And make the text white. And I'm going to align it to the center. And that's it. Let's go ahead now and wrap this up. We're going to save this. Save that. Now, let's go to our site editor. And let's do some things here. Now, see, that's WP and header. That's a header I created earlier. But let's get rid of it. 
Now we'll come here to the group and we'll click on the three dots and we'll insert something before that. Come over here, slash header. And then now we'll go ahead and we'll choose a header and we'll choose the header we just made. Notice this is WPN homepage header demo. That's the one we just made. So now we'll go ahead and we'll save that. And if you come to our homepage, you'll see it has that header there. Well, this is WordPress Nuggets. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the video. It was, I had fun making it for you. Again, if you found any use in this, please feel free to subscribe, like, and keep track of our upcoming videos. And we hope you come back soon. Thank you very much and enjoy.